so let's look at, at, at pages now. Now, pages are static entities, all right? They're things like about us, company profile, contact us, our location, services, things like that. Now, when creating pages, um, it's, it's pretty much the same as posts, but you, you're a bit more limited in what you can do. So let's have a look at, at my about page. And you'll see that I've just created just basically a text page for my about page. Okay. Now, I've created this as a full width page. I could just have it as a as a default template. And if I updated that, the page would end up with a sidebar. Oh, wait a sec, it hasn't loaded yet. Okay, the page would end up with a sidebar. And it's as simple as that. Now you could have sub pages underneath that. Uh, and if you're going to create a sub page, you would put that under a parent. Okay, just like child, it's, it'll be a child of a parent. Okay, so pages pretty much have most of the same features. A lot of the time, the featured image will not work on a page, so you'd have to actually embed that featured image within a page. So I could go right ahead here. If the image is an image uploaded to this post, I could make that a medium size image. Uh, right, no file, insert that into the page and update the page. And then we would see if it loads quick enough, you'd see myself on the right hand side. Okay, so pages are pretty much the same as posts, uh, except they are static entities. Now, an important thing to do is to keep things organised. And how do you do that? Um, with pages, unlike posts, which, you know, when you go to posts, they're ordered um, by, uh, by basically the date. So the latest one goes to the top, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Pages are ordered by a thing called the order. Okay. So for the lower the number, the higher up. It's, if you look at this, this follows my website perfectly for my menu. It just makes things easy to get to by ordering them in, in in a specific manner. You really you shouldn't have that many pages uh, unless you've got a services section and then underneath the services you've got children of those services like you know web design, logo design, development, SEO, social media marketing, etc. You could create that under under pages. But all in all pages should be kept not kept nice and neat. They should be descriptive um, and they should be uh, and, and they should be, um, you, you should have a uh, create a sidebar which, we've, uh, we, which we covered earlier for the different types of pages. Okay, so there, there is a, a, a basic page, and you can see that I haven't done that very well. I've got look, it's just too long with the sidebar widget. So I should have, I should have, I didn't have a sidebar on this, so I actually have to change this so that it's not so long. The sidebar should really never go longer than the text. Uh, on the page if you can avoid it. Okay, so that's pages within WordPress.